In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up email profile picture for your domain email. So most domain email, when you send an email to Google account, you can see that there's no profile picture. I'm going to show it to you in computer later. So in this method, I'm going to show you how you can put that picture in. And there are actually two ways to do it. They are similar way. They are still using the same method, just that how we execute is a bit different. Okay, now without further ado, let's jump into my computer and let me show you how this can be done. Let's go. Well, as mentioned just now, the two options that I'm going to show you, it is using the same platform, which is Google Profile. So whether you like it or not, you need to use Google Profile. Okay, now let me show you an example that I mentioned just now, you don't see the picture in a Gmail account, right? So this is, for example, I'm using a cPanel email. I, I created this email address, okay? And let me send it to my existing Gmail account and see whether you can see any profile picture or not. Let me just compose quickly. Okay, let's send. So I received the email and you can see here there's no profile picture. Okay, so this is what I mean when there's no profile picture, there's no picture of your Google account. Okay, so this first method is I'm going to connect my domain email with a Google profile. So I have a video on that, on how to create this, how to create a Google account with a domain email without using Gmail. Now there is a few good things about this. One thing is that you can use Google Drive and you can have a Google profile as well. And that is where you can add image. So this is the reason why if you want to just follow step by step, you can watch this video. I have the video in the link in the description box below and also anywhere in this video. Click on it. Just watch how you can create a Google account with a domain email. All right. And how you can add an image. So now, for example, I'm logged into this account. I want to log into my account. So I already link it in. So now you go here, click on the manage your Google account. Click on it. All right. When you click on here, you should be able to see this account here that I've linked it. Again, watch the video to see how I link it up. So just click on it and you can see that you have a own like Google account, but it's actually using a domain email. So how do you add image? Just click on this icon, click on add profile picture from computer or anywhere else. Upload from computer, choose an image that you like. Next, save as profile picture and boom, you can have the image here. Okay, so the image is a bit small. Maybe that's why you cannot see it here. Now you go back to the email and just refresh the email again. You should be able to see here, you see, it is reflected with a new icon. You can see the icon here. All right. So this is the first method. The first method is creating a Google account with your domain email. And then after that, just change the image. Okay. Again, just view the video on how you can do that. Now I'm going to go to a second method. All right. So this second method is, it is also using a Google account as a way to have that profile picture. Okay. But the setup is a bit different. So the first method is to create a Google account. Okay, the second method, which is this, is to add it into an existing Google account. So whatever the picture of the existing Google account, whether it changed or not, the, the image will be followed by the rest of the account that is linked into this account. So I, I know it's a bit confusing, but let me just show you how you can do it. Okay, first of all, I have another email address, which is billing. Let's just compose the email again to see that whether you have image or not. Huh? Okay, so let me send it over now. So I received the email and you can see here there's no profile picture. Okay, so I'll link this domain email into this Gmail account. So you can see I have a picture here already. So let me just add it in and see whether the picture follow this or not. Okay, so how are you going to add it in? I'm going to add it in as an alternate email. Let me show you how you can do it. So you just click on the picture here. Click on manage your Google account. Click on it and you can go to personal info. Scroll all the way down. You can see emails. Click on it. You can see here add alternate email, click on it. So I need to do some verification. Okay. So after you do verification, you want to add the alternate email. So I want to add this email, click, copy, add, and the verification email is sent. So let's just wait for it. You now you receive the email, they call it security alert. I don't know why. Click here to verify the request. Just click on it and then done. So you can see here it's verified. So let's send another email and see whether you have changed or not. Compose. Okay, now I've sent. Now let's wait and see whether the profile image changed or not. There, you can see. Billing, they have the same image as the one that I have here. All right, it's the same. So if you have a company account, a small company, you can put up to 10 alternate emails only. So for each profile, you can only have up to 10 alternate emails. Once you have the alternate email, the alternate email will have the same image. So for example, if you have one company using the same image, so you can usually just put all the 10 emails inside that. It's very good for startup and small companies, but if it's a big one, of course, you need to get a paid version. Okay, so I've shown you the two methods that you can set up your profile picture inside your domain email. So do test it out, see which one you prefer. Go ahead and try it. And I hope this is helpful. So all right, that's it for me. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.